today's Wheel of Mutt, we are doing something we have never done before. And that something is in this pack right here. Are you ready? The April Fool's Welcome Pack has... <laughs> it has a gold 99 middle linebacker, Pat McAfee. Keep in mind, this gold 99 Pat McAfee turns into a 91 overall on the 4th. So for this episode and this episode only, I'm adding him to the team. <laughs> it's such a sick card. It's so good. Oh, I have an entire video on it, but you won't see that till tomorrow, I think. Or maybe Friday. Probably Friday. So you just get to see a lot extra. He has a 99 in every stat uh, until you get to some of the offensive stats where he's got some random stuff in here. But like, keep in mind, he has 99 spectacular catch and 99 catch in traffic. So you actually can sub him in at your backup tight end. And he's pretty he's pretty good. He's throw under pressure 72 for some reason. Uh, And the only position where you really can't use him is punter kicker. Like I can use him all across my defense, but I actually can't use him as a punter. I think this is fun because we literally are only getting him for one episode. So I wanted to kick off the episode just like this. Uh, he has four abilities and every single one of them can be activated at the same time. They're all zero AP. That's Enforcer, one step ahead. Insane ability to have here. Lurk Artist, of course. No shockers on that one. And he even gets Dual Threat, which is usually an X Factor, but he gets it as a zero AP ability. So running any X Factor on him is pretty much pointless. Higher chance to defeat pass blocks and disrupt catches. This card's insane. I do need to do some reflecting though. So this is Wheel of Mutt. This is episode three of our new season. Our current record is one and one. I gotta say, I have played horrible this season. My first game, I, I never should have lost that game. And the second game, it shouldn't have been that close. I watched both those videos back. I was like, damn, I've been I've been kind of negative. I've been bitching a little bit. So I, I want today to be a great day for us to lock in. And starting out with that Pat McAfee, I think it's a great way to start. Now, the way I'm going to do this, I'm actually going to make Pat McAfee my starting middle linebacker. Gronk will still be the backup. And then I'm going to make Ray Lewis my left outside linebacker. It's just for today. It's really not that big of a deal. It should be a nice boost to our squad for this episode. Uh, but next episode, we'll still have to worry about our linebacker issues, but at least for this episode, I've got really good linebackers, so I shouldn't have to focus on that right now. And defense itself is pretty solid. Chamari Connor, big liability. Brandon Stevens, big liability. Patrick Sertan and Peanut Tillman are awesome. Irwin's awesome. Uh, Bosa's great. Jalen Carter's great. These two are okay. I do like Miles Garrett, though. Really offensively, we need offensive line. We would love a legitimate starting quarterback. That'd be very big. A fullback would be great. A true wide receiver, three. But overall, for being one and one, I really like where we're at. You boys know the rules. We got three Three wheel spins here to add to this squad. We'll start it out with... <laughs> we technically have two gold 99s on this team, and this is about to be our third. The Tribute Jackpot. There's only two players that this even applies to. There's literally only two players, and they're both insane. I actually, I don't know who I'm going to take right now. So the two Tribute cards are gold 99 Aaron Donald and gold 99 Jason Kelsey. I really feel like I should be going with gold 99 Jason Kelsey. Ah, that card's honestly overkill. I don't need a gold 99 center, but I feel like I really want a gold 99 right end. Dude, this Aaron Donald is so good. Too. He has so many insane abilities. He has unstoppable force that stays on for the entire game after the first nine plays. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I literally need an offensive line so bad. I'm going Aaron Donald. I can't stop myself. I'm doing it. Obviously, you can't really go wrong. We're getting a gold 99, but honestly, this is the move. Let's talk about this Aaron Donald. I've got edge threat elite, no outsiders, and relentless tribute. Rush moves no longer cost points. And on top of that, he gets unstoppable force that stays activated the entire game after the first nine plays. I feel like, honestly, at that point, you don't even need edge threat elite. I'm actually gonna run double or nothing. I really don't know how this works. Like, I don't understand how this works in the game, but double or nothing grants you dominant pass rush wins at twice the cost, and relentless makes it so rush moves no longer cost points. So does that mean if you stack them, you always get dominant pass rush wins? I don't know, but I'm rocking it like this. I understand I need a center, but I just think Aaron Donald will have a bigger impact on me winning games. On to our second wheel spin. We start out with a gold 99 career tribute Aaron Donald and now I promise I'll work on the O-line graveyard graveyard pack a punch did I ever have Jason Kelsey on this team I don't think I did so graveyard pack a punch I can take any player from a previous season and I can get their best version now to do this though I'm gonna have to go back through my like I'm gonna go look at all my Super Bowl lineups I know exactly who I'm getting I'll take you down a trip on memory lane wheel of mutt the very first Super Bowl of this season episode number nine which is crazy to think about because this is episode 64 episode nine my offensive line in the Super Bowl had an 86 overall right guard. That 86
36 overall right guard, Chris Lindstrom. In fact, it was this core elite Chris Lindstrom right here. And look who happens to have a 97 overall team of the year with 99 strength, 77 speed. Honestly good for a right guard. And then of course, immaculate stats everywhere else. Chris Lindstrom is my graveyard pack a punch. I love it. Oh, he has linchpin for free. That's huge. So we can actually take that off of Russ Grimm. I'm also gonna give him Matador to prevent dominant bull rush moves. Secure protector here would actually be really nice to shut down inside stuff, but I'd honestly prefer that on my center. Okay, the big thing now is, is I need to get a quarterback. Otherwise I'm going into this next game with Warren Moon again. This takes us to our third and final wheel spin where hopefully we can replace our quarterback. Please not pack a punch. That's actually so bad right now. Ooh. I actually have a really good pack a punch option now that I look at it, which is Dre Greenlaw. Because there's a limited Dre Greenlaw who's a lot better than that Dre Greenlaw. But that means I'm rocking a, I'm rocking Warren Moon for another game. Oh, that's so weird. I don't like that. We do have one AP available on offense too, and I just don't know who to use it on. Can Russ Grimm get anything? This is brutal, actually. Technically, I could pack a punch Frank Ragnow, take him to an 87 overall, because he does have an 87 overall center, but that's just not good enough to be worth it. It. Oh, but I have one AP available, so I can go gift wrapped. Yeah, that's actually really big. Okay, dude, I, Warren Moon's Warren Moon's going back to back. That's our only option. He honestly was really good. Unless I'm like totally forgetting somebody for pack a punch, I do think Dre Greenlaw is our best option here. Uh, we just don't have a team that's built to be pack a punch right now, so it's a tough time to get that wheel spin. I usually try to have like backups in place for this exact scenario, and I just wasn't ready. That's okay. Dre Greenlaw, the one that we were using, was honestly in, like really good. I was very impressed. Now we get to upgrade to the 95 overall. He was previously a playoffs limited, but now he's obviously a redux. 95 speed, 92 excel, an excellent coverage linebacker, which is exactly how we use him. I don't think his overall does him justice. This card is so good. All right, boys, we got some serious linebacker help on today's video. We got Dre Greenlaw and our one day rental, Gold 99, Pat McAfee, Gronk, and Ray Lewis. I think the biggest holes on this defense is the secondary. Chamari Connor, Brandon Stevens are very scary, but now we've got Gold 99, Aaron Donald, so I'm not as worried offensively it's another hopefully warren moon masterclass. class tiki barber has been amazing i love him jamar jefferson johnston the jays and the offensive line got some help with chris lindstrom's linchpin and matador all right boys Woo, i'm nervous man three gold 99s though and still no quarterback challenge wheel dude i have a silver center in the challenge would be huge right now we would need any o-line position to to shore that up Ah, the odd even. This is a really good one to get. I like this one. The combined total of the game score needs to be an odd number. This should absolutely be within my control. I need an odd score. Top three, all gold 99s, McAfee, Barber, and Donald. Bo Corner, Doug Williams, quarterback, Justin Jefferson. We probably have a very fair matchup here. Ooh, boys, you know what this is? This is our first time in the white Lions uniforms. We've been in the uh, the throwback Honolulu Blues. Peanut Tillman inside, and I'm on McAfee. Covering number 11. Oh, he's gonna throw short. That's a bad angle, really bad angle. Fuck no. Edger and James, stop. Bad start. I right, switch his zone here. See if he tries to run this ball. We definitely want his first drive to be a long drive. And the main reason for that is Aaron Donald. Goes Edger and James again. Gets rocked by Pat McAfee. Keep in mind, Aaron Donald's unstoppable force activates after nine downs are played. Okay, okay, I like this a lot. Nick Bosa. Third and 11, that's exactly what we need. I'm gonna guess pass here. Oh, that corner route's open. Wait, wait! Patrick Sertan! He puts up a lofter! And Pat Sertan is gonna float into the end zone! What was that pass? Did he get hit? I can't tell if he got hit or what happened there. Pat Sertan stayed in bounds. Dodged the tackle, too. All right, he's got two inside stuffs, so let's be smart here. I said that. Go. Go. Sam Laporta. I never, I'm never taking, I don't know if I'm taking Warren Moon out, bro. This guy is a dog. Could this be one of those Wheel of Must seasons where we take like a low overall quarterback all the way to the bowl? I'm thinking about it, man. All right, first and 10. See if he goes with a handoff. I kind of expected him to. Oh, he wants this. He wants this. Hey! Shamari Connor. Oh, great pitch. Good joke. He broke the tackle. Derwin. This game's, is he cooked already? Bro, if you get intercepted by Chamari Connor, you deserve it. Warren Moon Masterclass inbound. Let's throw a laser beam here. Dot. 
Oh, it's actually a horrible ball. Wait, perfect accuracy? What? No man on earth could have caught that ball other than the safety. How was that a perfect accuracy? I'm sorry, Warren Moon. I did you dirty, bro. I don't know what I don't know what I did wrong there, but that's all right. Why is Tiki Barber my user? Why is Tiki Barber my user? Get a tackle, Tiki. Shit. I could have had a Tiki Barber hit stick right there. Run the ball so Pat McAfee can lick your balls. I own you. Brandon, dude, you're getting cooked by my bum squad. No! Yes! That might have been the most disrespectful thing in the world. I threw that ball off his fucking helmet. I threw that ball off his helmet. A little RPO sauce here. Oh, good block, good juke. Warren Moon, I will not let. Oh, wait, I need an odd score. I need an odd score. Or no, I just score and then get the PAT. You know what's gonna suck ass? If I score and he quits right when I score, it'll be an even score and not an odd score. Warren Moon, Warren Moon legacy. Warren Moon legacy. You literally can't. Don't quit. Don't quit. Let me kick my PAT, please. Please let me get it off. Please, it's an even score right now. Odd, 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 odd. Boom. This is an absolute curb stop. Throw to your halfback. What's even weirder is like his first drive, like initially, it felt really good. 40 bomb? I don't know why he threw a bad ball there. Aaron Donald, unstoppable force is activated, gentlemen. He's gonna be getting home nice and quick. Oh, good ball. All of a sudden, he's doing a little something. Where's 23? Good ball. I can lie, he's kind of killing me with that drag route. I'm gonna press cover like this is middle linebacker series. Get, get shit on. Oh, I can't see. What if I lurk you right now? Oh, shit. Hey! I'm rocking this camera angle. I'm rocking this camera angle with McAfee. The feds can't stop it. I know he wants to check down too. I know it. He wants to throw to his like halfback out of the backfield. Shit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, all right. Settle down. Chill out over there. Chill out. This is actually really difficult on this camera angle. Uh, I'm actually gonna go on Aaron Donald. I'm gonna manually pass rush. Oh, I actually got through. Yo, I actually got through. That was lit. Now nah, he's going to go same thing. Let's go QB spy Jalen Carter. <sighs> Shit. I saw that. I should have been able to stop that. Good play. Does he go for two here? Because he, he has a nine point deficit right now. He may elect to go for two right now. And I think if he does, I think I'm going to stop him. I think what's happening is I don't. Oh, nine point game. That's so bad. Keep in mind, if you add up the scores right now, it'd be 21. That is still an odd score. What's happening is I don't have a sixth corner. I have three corners, two safeties, and nobody else. So it's just subbing in my best player from offense, which happens to be gold 99 Tiki Barber. Just hit the check down here to Tiki. I would really like to just beam someone deep. It doesn't feel like he's giving it to me. Ah! No! Shit! That was totally my bad. I thought he was gonna clear. That's a classic example of getting impatient. Checks it down. God, I can't get there. All right, fine. I'm not I'm not so determined that I'll do something stupid. Actually, I am. I am so determined I'll do something stupid. Do it. What a ball! Two-point lead, 15 to 13. If you add up the scores right now, it is even. Let's start it right here. He doesn't have no outsiders. That's so good. But of course, he does have McAfee. That's four yards for Tiki. I actually really like that run play. All right, second and six. We're going halfback blast here. Great double team. Barber, juke left. Huge. Gigantic. Big stiff arm. Tiki Barber. He does not have no outsiders on the left side of this line. So there's just... There's just not... Holy fuck, McAfee just blew that play up. It, it's a silver fullback against a gold 99 middle linebacker, but still. Laporta. Laser. Caught. I've literally never seen him drop a ball. Those are zone KOs down there. He doesn't drop. Sam Laporta might be a touchdown. Oh, look at you. Okay, Jamar. Jamar is sad that we've been sleeping on him. Ever since we got Justin Jefferson, I feel like I look at Jefferson more. And of course, Laporta. I stare Laporta down, bro. And I'm going to stare him down right here, too. Oh, but that's a dot. Ooh. Still got to use this clock, though. Going a little too fast here. Okay, that was so ugly. But it's caught for positive yards. I think Jefferson's in a really... Oh, this is so good. If he doesn't get there. Yes. Wait. Perfect. Get there. Third and one. I think he knows I can pick this up. He's not going to use his timeout. Got to get a double team on Chris Jones. The only way I can get this run. Third and one. Right up the middle. Great double team. Don't take it. Don't take it. 
I think that was the smart thing to do, but really, I'm really gonna be mad at myself. I can't get this in now. All right, 20 seconds on the clock. Still got two timeouts. That's fine. I would, I would rather him tackle me right there than pick six me on the RPO. Okay, second and goal. We're gonna get something out of this. Warren Moon. Warren Moon. Warren fucking Moon! Mind. He's out of his mind. Why is he so good? <laughs> Holy shit. The rollout playmaker back corner dot. This man is a 91 overall with not a single ability that would let him throw that. No dashing dead eye. No roaming dead eye. He's just doing it. That was God tier clock management. 22 plus 13 is 35. That is an odd number. And there's only three seconds left. He's got two timeouts. He doesn't have a snowball's chance in hell of putting up points here. I wouldn't even be shocked if he ran the ball in anticipating that I guess pass. Just gonna kind of let Aaron Donald's stock get to the quarterback here. And I think he'll do just fine of that. Yeah, he got his block shed already. He doesn't have this and he knows it. What's the flag for? Pass the line of scrimmage? I think he loses momentum for that, so that's actually pretty nice. Yeah, he does. Nine point lead. That missed PAT is the biggest piece of the game right now. And I didn't even know this, but I do get ball ahead. And this is a real, dude, fuck McAfee. Oh, he missed. I don't know how he missed. He played that really well. He's really struggling to cover. Um, I totally take it back. He bagged the shit out of that. That was so well guarded. All right, never mind. I'm gonna go right back to the run play on second 19. I think he sees it. Oh, he, oh shit. It was a pretty questionable play call, Loki. Does he cover Laporta? Oh! Uh, he doesn't drop! He doesn't drop anything. It's so fucking good. Now we hit him with the post route. He's gonna go play that the exact same way, except it's a post now. Watch, he's gonna fly to it like it's a corner route. <laughs> oh no! You're calling it on that? Out of here! Let's go! All right, boys, that is for sure an earned rage quit. So I'm not gonna play another game, but we earned that one. That was an awesome game. That got scary. What's funny is once he got 13 points, he has not touched the ball since. We just beat him with clock management. We used the entire second quarter, got the ball at half, was about to score again, and challenge wheel complete, and our record moves to two and one on the season, which is awesome. Oh, that was a really good game. So importantly, we lock in all our good players. Gold 99 Aaron Donald is staying. Chris Lindstrom is staying. And Drake Greenlaw is staying. Pat McAfee, that was our only game with him, unfortunately. He'll be gone. But honestly, we really didn't need him. This team's got good middle linebackers in Ray Lewis and Gronk, so it's not gonna be a huge blow. Importantly here, we can get one pack from the store. Oh my gosh, wait, the Sugar Rush eggs have hatched? If I get a Sugar Rush egg pack, I also get an egg. Yo, I'm doing this for sure. Sugar Rush pack will start here. Jonah Williams, he doesn't help us. Fred Warner is nice as a pack a punch option, but he doesn't help us either. Cam Robinson left tackle. I'm pretty sure left tackles can play center. This is awesome. This is really good. And our simple egg. Looks like it's a weekly wild card. Mike Purcell, 91 overall D tackle. I still think I like Miles Garrett better. Yeah, I like Miles Garrett better. I'm not going to use him. Apparently, I have an extravagant egg on the bench. This doesn't go on Wheel of Mutt. It's just, you guys got a little pack opening in there too. God, that would actually be really good for this team. So the challenge wheel ends up grabbing me a fill-in center, which is left tackle Cam Robinson, who's an 86 overall at center, 95 strength, six foot six. That's way better than Frank Ragnow. That is awesome. I'm gonna put 86 Fred Warner in just so I don't forget. Actually, you know what? Because we won't have McAfee, I'll actually have a silver left outside linebacker. So Fred Warner will actually be a starter. All right, boys, that was an awesome game. Huge dub. Oh, look at me almost forgetting about the rage cut wheel. Boys, there is actually heat on the rage cut wheel. We just never gotten it. If I could get it right now, I wouldn't be mad. What is that? 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 So a 93 choice, like I could take a center here. I could take a free safety. I think I kind of want to reserve those positions for something that's actually really good. Like maybe next episode's wheel spins. I'm hoping there's a 93 overall fullback. I would take a 93 fullback right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And he has, dude, he has the best pack a punch option. Christian Okoye has a 98 overall limited Nigerian nightmare throwback card. Oh, I have to, bro. Yes. Oh, Christian Okoye, 93 choice, ends up being an amazing spin. Christian Okoye, the Nigerian nightmare. We actually, me and Christian Okoye, back when I was in high school, I had the exact same nickname, the Nigerian, <laughs> but not for the same reason. <laughs>
Okay, I'm sorry. I'm done. Holy shit, I'm done. No free abilities, but one of my favorite cards. 90 speed, 89 strength. What's kind of annoying is they actually didn't give this card very good blocking stats because they intended him to be like a running back, whereas the, the other card has really good blocking stats. He has 88 catching traffic, though. His blocking stats are okay. He's still really good. He's 253 pounds. That's pretty important. Still some work to do, but I'm loving how this team is looking. And uh, dude, I'm sticking with Warren Moon. I'm sticking with Warren Moon. He's playing his heart out, so he's staying in. All right, boys. Thank you for watching, as always. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace!